What's up it is back in again back with another visual novel now this is a my made girlfriend yes we're gonna be keeping the goddamn clap now the music is muted because it is very loud and I didn't think it was very loud in recording so I already recorded a video and it was way too loud so the volumes turned down in game but the menu music is still very loud right it's a bit unclear to hear me but guys if you're wondering why I'm doing a different visual novel instead of Doki Doki today. As you noticed, I did Doki Doki yesterday, today is this visual novel, My Maid Girlfriend, then tomorrow will be Doki Doki, and then we'll go to My Maid Girlfriend, so we're going to do like that. So every other day is DDLC, then every other day in between those days will be a different visual novel, So until we complete it. So next visual novel, after we do My Maid Girlfriend, will be something different, and every Saturday we will be streaming... Every Saturday or Sunday we will be streaming Resident Evil 7 Bioshock and obviously that can change to a different horror game or whatever, it could be any game that can be. So guys, if you haven't watched the last video, you can click that card icon to watch it. Let's get straight into this. Yeah, do you want to continue? Yes. Okay, now loading. I like the little loading screen. Episode 1. Bling bling! Oh god. Oh god. Slap. <laughs> oh no, not again. My phone alarm. It's Friday. It's almost the weekend. Beep beep. Oh, my phone. Hello, chat. Was this a text from my dad? Let me hold it vertical. Oh god. It didn't turn it down. Okay, there you go. Now it's turned down. I get to read my dad's text. That's strange, you usually just messaged me early in the morning. Did something happen? Son, I'll be in New York for a business trip for three weeks. I had three new maids for you. Text me ASAP. Ah, I don't have a business trip. I should probably be used to my dad's business trips by now. Two months ago, I was just an ordinary boy. Oh, come on! So he became millionaires overnight, moved into his mansion. It's about an oil mine. Now everybody in school knows me as a millionaire son. Dad and I know my mum's looking down at us from heaven. Oh, her mum's is mum's dead. Rip, can we get an F? And now dad is hiring maids for me just because he's away? How should I reply? How should I reply? Oh yeah, options. Gee thanks, Dad. Gee thanks. Great, I hired him so they can take care of you. I wouldn't expect it any less from you, Dad. But I'm a grown man, I can do the chores by myself. And damn, look at that bedroom, that's nice! Yes, I know, but it's been set. I suppose a little help would be okay. I hope the maids would be nice. I'm pretty. Dad takes me again. God's sake, I'm so tired of every video. I'm pretty sure it's not a PX backering video without one yawn at least. But get ready for school, the maids will arrive in a while. I go down to the kitchen to eat my usual bottle of cereal before going to school. Hold up, what is she doing here? K Kim, what are you doing here? What's that maid cosplay? So I guess she is one of her maids and I guess we know her. But why has she got um cat ears? I know that's part of a maid. Uh, that's Kim, we've been friends since I was four. She's a cool chick. She's a straight A student with the most caring personality ever. Though she's two years younger than me, but we can wage war with anyone who gets in my way. Um, didn't your father inform you about this? I'll be one of your new maids. Didn't know you'd be a, I, I guess you didn't, I guess. Idiot didn't think you'd be his maid. That doesn't mean you need a stir. Wait, why did she give you a cold order? She's always been so gentle. Why she won't, um, why won't she look me in the eyes? She's probably embarrassed. Then somebody calls my name in a sickly sweet voice. Look at my shoulder and rub my eyes, it's Mina, all in a maid outfit. I guess we know Mina too. That's Mina, every that's Mina, everyone. She can be shy and awkward, but she has a heart of gold. We've been classmates since elementary school, and I don't remember Mina confessing that she liked me in the last year of elementary school. But I think we're in high school now, so it's probably been a few years. But it is a visual novel, so does she still like me? There you go. The question we all probably are asking. Good morning, idiot. I'm also your new maid. I went for the idiot name as it is the classic name. But relax, I'll take care of you. This can't be real, these two cute girls are going to be my maids. I'm in heaven. Cat got your tongue? 
You don't say anything. <laughs> She's letting Kim start treating like a stranger. She only pays herself in. Oh god. Anyway, my maids are super hot, but what about school? What should I say? Uh, what about school? What are you, what are you gonna do at school? No, uh, don't worry, dear. You're just as important as school. Well, you are being paid for this, so besides we're classmates, we should help each other out. I can see Mina's cheeks reddening, which I find irresistibly cute. Oh, okay, but Stone is important too. Just when I hear an even calm voice, I turn around and drop my jaw drops. I'm yawning again already! Second time in the video, it's only been six, five, like nearly six minutes. Alright. It's my first love and former neighbour, Anna. Is she been my third maid? Do you know this reminds me of? ReZero. Amazing anime. Do not link in the description to the website I watched it on. Yes, it's an external link, but I don't care. Actually, no, I'll link with Crunchyroll of it because. I don't know. If you can't be asked to watch on Crunchyroll, just find another of website. I don't know. I don't mind. But ReZero is pretty good. It, you sort of look. Eh, yeah, sort of look like Rem. Just trim that, have it more there, and have that trimmed. Yeah, you'd be like Rem. You'd probably be Rem, yeah. Uh, Kim wouldn't be Ram. Anna smiles warmly at me and I'm reminded of the days when she used to take care of me. I like my little animations, I quite like the artwork. Anna was just 14 when mum died, but she took care of me like I was her baby brother. I can't help but fall in love with a warm personality. We hardly ever talk now as she goes to university and then my school, but this is the perfect opportunity. We have to start getting ready for school or we'll be late. And yes, idiot, I'm also one of your new maids. They always be like old times, I'll take care of you. <laughs> they always have a jam with three beautiful maids. Oh wow, this should be fun. Me and I walk side by side on our way to the classroom. She keeps her eyes fixed on the floor as we walk. Is she really this shy? Oh, she won't look at me in the eye. Don't tell me she has feelings for me. Impossible. Can't say her feelings for me. You're really shy, aren't you? If someone's shy, they normally have a reason, it's only because they've been bullied and all that. That is normally it and they don't trust people and they find uncomfortable. I hope she doesn't be bullied because that's not going to be very good. What? No, no, I'm not. I let her chuckle. <laughs> Look at you, you're all red and you didn't tell me you're not shy. Is it? You haven't changed. You've got about yawn, about yawn, here's a yawn. Ugh. God damn it, sleep, idiot, sleep. You're still the same idiot who makes me... What should I say? Same idiot makes you laugh or the same idiot makes your heart flood. Let's say who makes you laugh. What, am I still the same idiot or makes you laugh? Uh, uh yes! You, you're very silly. I guess I like to joke around. Asian culture class is style, but I can't focus. Something's bothering me. Why has Kim been acting so cold and indifferent since this morning? When I come back to my senses, I realize that the teacher's calling me for an answer. Idiot, can you give me the national food of South Korea? Uh, uh, Kim. Whole class laughs at my answer. Darn, I should stop talking about Kim. Kimichi, I mean Kimichi. <sighs> nice save. My usual lunch buddies from the basketball team are out, are out right now, but I don't feel like eating today. I smile at before my new maid's cooking for me. Nah, I'm certainly hungry. I'm sorry, but this is, I just want to make sure the audio is actually normal. Okay. Okay, there you go. I guess I can probably ask one of my mates to eat with me. Yeah, my smile falls when I come across some girls from the other class. Ever since my school started when I got rich, I have random girls following me. No, you did, so it's true your father's girlfriend didn't know your mind? I got a mate, she's pretty cute. I, uh. Oh, sorry, I was feeling comfortable talking about it. We just want to get to know you better. The music. Hmm, it's weird. Before my dad discovered the oil mine, there weren't a lot of girls that talked to me. Really, uh, thanks, I guess. Let me tell you, you look like a prince. Uh, I'm so stupid for any reasons in and out. Okay, you wanna go? Come on! Uh, no one's ever told me that before. The girls look at each other with meaningful smiles. They seem like they're planning something. So, do you wanna have a lunch with us? It'll be fun. Then she gives me a wink. Oh. What should I say? No, um, they say we're gonna spend lunch with the maids, so it's a no for today. It's a no for today. Excuse me, are you rejecting us? Feel bad for saying no, but I just saw Kim go upstairs. Okay, so we're gonna go say hi to Kim. This is my chance to ask her why she's been acting so weird. I guess I am, sorry, but I've gotta go now. Bye. I'll take my leave and start looking for Kim. 
Might have to run up by a vault, I've got to kill Kim's pace. Oh, why that staircase so crowded during lunch? Along the way, I overheard girls whispering to each other. Oh, look at this rich guy. He's actually kind of hot. Well, I'm flattered, but I actually have to catch up with Kim. I wonder if my, I wonder if all my might to catch Kim and then. <clears throat> I bumped into something, but it's soft. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, it's blue hair. Is it Mina? Oh, it is me. <laughs> well, I realize my face is squished against Mina's chest. Dang, they're really soft. <laughs> God damn it! I gave an offer hand to Mina, who's lying on the ground. She gladly takes my hand, and I find myself feeling how nice and soft her hands feel. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, dear. Are you hurt at all? I'm so careless. No, no. I should be one apologising to you. I didn't watch where I was going. <sighs> God damn it, fourth yawn. When I received death glares from some male students, I can understand why. I mean, it's both hot and popular. These guys must think of her as a goddess. You know what? You know that the guys are giving me the murderous glares, right? No, no, her. No, no way. They aren't looking at me. Anyway, are you sure they're not hurt? Mia gives me a, her signature wound on smile, and I kid you not, she looks like an she even looks like an angel. What should I say? Why will you nurse me back to hell? Let's say that. Will you nurse me back? Are you at, you're always so thoughtful, Mina. If you want me to, uh, 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 uh. Mina covers her mouth as she laughs, and I find myself captivated by her sight. So when I see a woman with so much elegance, <laughs> I'm just kidding. If you joke around like that, I guess it's safe to say that you're not hurt. Yeah, I'm fine. So I'm, I'll try not to worry too much. Oh, she's blushing! But what are you doing up here anyway? Crap, I forgot about Kim, I need to talk to her. Oh yeah, about that, I gotta go, I have to uh, chat with Kim. See you later. I'll wait for Mina and look for Kim again. I'm just gonna catch a glimpse of Kim from afar, she seems to be walking at a steady pace. She's carrying those heavy books again, she must be planning to review them. I wanna help her with those. Kim! Only a few minutes away, but she still doesn't seem to hear me. I, I call her name again. Kim, wait up! This time, Kim stops walking for a split second. Whoa! Oh, wow! Damn, immediately after that, she breaks into a run. Hey, Kim, slow down, we need to talk! Why is she being like this? Did I say something wrong? Oh, God, sorry. Did I do something wrong? Kim's really good at sports, and the speed is unbeatable. I try my best to match my speed, but I just can't keep up. Uh oh, I think I lost her. She's nowhere to be found. Maybe she's hiding. I should check. What should I do? Where's either the ladies room or check Kim's class? Where's either the ladies room? No, she's probably just in there. Can wait outside, why? Or does that make it look creepy? Anyway, I need to talk to Kim and find out why she's been avoiding me. My trainer falls into it when a teacher clears her throat. Uh, um, why are you standing around here? Go back to your classroom. Bell will ring any minute now. Oops, sorry. Looks like I wouldn't get to talk to Kim now. I'm just glad school's over for a week. Oh, we got a weekend now with our maids. But I suck at Kim's ignoring me. It's like I don't exist. I'm momentarily distracted by four of my lovely maids and maid outfits. Why well, I do deserve three equally gorgeous maids. I saved a nation in a past life or something. This is some luck. I smile plight some girls waving at me outside the school. I'm never good with girls. To be honest, I'm pretty awkward. Well, um, I've uh, but ever since my dad discovered that all in one, the tables have turned. Modesty aside, girls have noticed me after that. I can say that I hate it though. Idiot, are you going so after this? My friends and I were wondering if you'd like to come with us. Uh, where? It's a secret. Oh, sure, I like girls, but my dad's always told me to be careful when I was strangers. They not always have good intentions, so it's best to keep my distance. Sorry, I can. <laughs> girls give me a disappointed smile and leaves. Sonny, I think I made my right decision to turn her down an invitation, because Kim just passed by. She looks at me blankly and I stare back. She's probably still avoiding me, so I, maybe I'll just let her go. Or I could chase her to get answers. What should I do? Uh, go after Kim, look at Kim, but don't approach her. Uh, we ain't gonna ignore her at all. Let me go after her. I call her I call her name and run to her. Gotcha! Idiot, wh what are you doing here? I'm here to talk to you, silly. Bears of sweat drip down my face. To me? Why? Is there something we need to talk about? Yes, there is. You've been avoiding me. Kim's eyes widen and looks away. Uh, and that's not true. I'm not avoiding you. Uh, you're lying, Kim. Why have you been dissing ever since you got to the mansion? You only called your name during lunch, but you pretended that you didn't. 
I'm not being. Oh, you kept the. I'm not being distant and I'm not avoiding you. I really didn't hear you. Kim looks away again. I'm out of breath from my running I did today. You're a bad liar. Don't deny it. Just tell me why. I try to catch my breath. If only one, I feel something soft touch my face. I look at Kim and she's wiping the swirl off my forehead with a perfumed handkerchief. Now, Sam, but hey, I'm not complaining. If you don't dry off, you'll catch a cold. I'm not seeing Kim's mesmerizing guys. How can someone look so cold yet so warm? The wind blows just as she turns around, briefly revealing what's beneath a short skirt. Oh no, no, please don't show me, I beg. Whoa, what a view! Oh, okay, I guess she grabbed it. Oh, and your skirt just flew up. I'm gonna see what's underneath. Kim raises an eyebrow and she strains her skirt. No, you should have stared! Oh, she's got meow! <laughs> Kim stuffs her handkerchief in her pocket and storms off. And she's back to being a nice queen. I just don't have any answers. After Kim leaves, only tucks the, on the hem on my shirt. No, I see Mina with pit flies and pitiful look in her eyes. Aww. Hey, what's wrong now? She bites a lip and te tears pull up her eyes. My bike broke. That wouldn't make your. If it broke naturally, or it just like broke. Well, like, while you're riding it, you wouldn't be upset. Did someone break it? God, I hope not. Please. Please, no one broke a bike, I beg. But she won't tell us. Uh, oh, oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. Why the heck am I finding a queue? I, I, I was wondering if I, I could, um, ride a view on my way to home to the mansion. But if it's okay, if you don't want to, I'm just a maid after all. What should I say to her? Hop in, we're not going to deny her, especially if she seems to be upset about her bike being broken. Hop in. See, her being upset about it does make me feel like someone's broke it. Like someone broke on purpose. Oh, nice car. How can I ever repay you? I, I can't thank you enough, idiot. That's no biggie, you're going to the same place anyway. It's just me, was Mina especially cute when she's shy. I mean, Mina, are you usually shy around people? If I am me a little small gas, have I said something scandalous? Well, well, not exactly. Maybe I'm just shy around you. Shy around me? Fifth you all. I'm not intimidating. But why, I mean? Mina cuts me off mid sense and changes the topic. Sorry for inconveniencing you. I'll fix my bike soon. I promise I'll do my best as your maid. Okay. Okay. Aha, very evasive, I see. She turns to me and we exchange glances. Then she looks away. I don't believe in animations. I don't know what to get to me, but I generally take a hand to grab her attention. This time she grabs loudly and her face turns red as a tomato as she gets flustered. Now I got your attention, I want to ask again. Why do you feel shy around me? Ha, <laughs> target locked. F forget I said anything, idiot. I blabber too much. <laughs> I can't help but laugh at me, isn't it? No, team. Damn, like giggles like you, I might have a heart attack. Now I know you who why guys like you. Uh, I won't bad this too much. Mina covers her mouth in shock my bold words. She's one second away from speaking, but... Whoa! Uh... All of a sudden, the car swoops sharply to the left to avoid climbing with a speeding truck. The abrupt moves cause me to lurk towards Mina, unintentionally hugging her. It... What is this nice feeling? Oh, she's so small and unhuggable. Um, idiot? I look at Mina, I just suspected her face is bright crimson. And my body's betraying my mind, I continue to keep my arm around her. Y you can let go now. Yee, probably. Crap, sorry about that. You don't have to apologize, I'm such a klutz. She gives me a bashful smile. Why is she so cute? Open doors, I'm instantly greeted by my darling maids. Hi, Kim. Hi, Anna. I could serve them all day. Welcome home. Even having them green in unison is enough to make me melt. Whoa, hi there. Crap, I'm so awkward. How's your day, idiot? And we teleported, but we're a magician. Hope you had a good one. Pretty good, thanks. I'd be lying if I said I hate being treated like a master. But uh, are they okay with doing things like this? Is something wrong? You don't seem well. If you're concerned about how our jobs, please don't worry. We're okay with it. I can this ice queen read my mind. Yeah, why is she wearing cat ears, by the way? I would like to know that. Well, okay, is that the case? I hope that could be all get along. Your dinner should be ready soon. I've prepared your favourite chicken dish. Oh my god, Anna's cooking like heaven on earth. Wow, really? Thanks. And your clothes have been ironed and put away in your dresser. 
I'm speechless. These girls are really something. But thank you, you didn't have to. I have one a bath for you. It's ready. Can I have a smile at all of them? My heart pounds my chest. You guys are the best. Thank you. These girls have no idea what they do to me. Why are you so red? Oh no, I'm blushing. Oh no, it's nothing. I'm just a little hot. As I'm in queue, they rush to turn on the fans in the living room. We was obviously calling thanks for strong breeds coming from the fans. You could say I'm blown away. Pun intended. I didn't think they'd laugh, but they did. Wow, <laughs> he's so funny, idiot. You better finish freshen up before dinner gets cold. How did you take your dinner, idiot? So, yeah, okay, whenever happens, it's time's gone on. I was in a rush, so it's not my best. What should I say? You for real? Your cooking's perfect, Anna. Your cooking is perfect. Seriously? She tucks a lock of hair behind her ear. Thanks, you don't have to be so nice all the time. I really mean it, Anna. And looks at me, I think I see her blushing. Anna excuses herself to call Kim and Mina. Kim, Mina and Anna return to the living room at the same time. Anna snobs me holding her phone. Well, I'll him in the living room because Idiot's father called me a while ago. What did he say? <sighs> Damn it, I was. You want me to gather everyone in the room after dinner? Why? You'll be calling any time now to say if something very important. And then the phone rings. What would my dad possibly want to say to everyone? Better keep playing to find out. Oh, wait, what? I better keep playing to find out. Is this another day? Like, episode 2! Okay, so we're probably going to end it here. I'm just going to end it here, boys. We'll obviously... And it puts a phone on speaker. No. I have wrong button. Save. There you go. Saved. Yeah, I, I quite like this mod, guys. Comment down below which girl, which maid do you guys like the most at the moment. I'm quite like Amina. I am quite like Amina. And also, comment down below, guys, if you like this visual novel. So, well, there will be more. It'll be DDLC tomorrow. And then there'll be another one of these. Another My Girlfriend, My Maid Girlfriend after the next DLC video. So it'll be every time like that. And guys, if you like this video, smash that like button where it hurts, or smash the subscribe button too, if you're new to the channel, and turn that notification bell to get notified when I upload. And I'll see all you amazing people in the next video. Bye-bye.